to the ASMR Salon and Spa. I'm Shani, and I'm going to be your stylist today. It's very great to meet you. Why don't you come in and have a seat? Wow. You have such gorgeous rainbow hair. Where are you from? Okay, so you're related to the trolls, like the troll dolls? I see, okay, that explains it. Though, doesn't their hair normally grow up? Okay, you're a part mermaid. Got it, got it, okay. Well, I should have known because this hair is just absolutely gorgeous. So what were you thinking you wanted done today? Okay. Just a trim and some layers. We can do that. Did you want it styled up like your cousins or no doubt? Excellent choice. I'm not necessarily a fan of the little Hershey Kiss style, but to each their own. Oh, you want to try bangs? Oh, we could definitely do some bangs. Are you thinking like straight across or maybe some rocker style bangs or some baby bangs? Okay, I'll let you think about it. Well, here at the ASMR Salon and Spa, we like to start our services off with a nice little scalp massage to stimulate blood flow to the hair follicles. Yeah, that just aids in hair growth and overall healthiness of your hair on your hair follicles, so. I do have some essential oils here. Now, we have many scents you can choose from. We have a candy smelling oil and we have vanilla, eucalyptus. We also have tutti frutti for all you troll fans. And we have like ocean smelling and basically anything you can think of. So, how are you feeling today? Oh, excellent choice. I love that scent. Okay. Let me grab that real quick. And here we are. It's important that we tap on it before we get started because it helps mix up the oils inside. So, what we're going to do is just Take a couple drops here and we like to work from the forehead down to the nape of the neck and then we go from the top of your ear across to the other ear, kind of making a cross or an X shape with our drops here, so drop, 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 drop,
We like to use essential oils because it's moisturizing, natural, and the essential oils along with our massaging techniques, like I said earlier, help stimulate the blood flow to your hair follicles, aiding in growth. So, let's go ahead and get started. I just want you to close your eyes and relax and let me take care of you. So, I'm going to start by working down the same position that I placed the drops and I'm just going to be moving in slow circular motions massaging that oil into your scalp I'm just going to go down the side here not using a lot of pressure, just slow, circular motion. And other side. Is that a good pressure? Okay, good, good. All right. I'm going to use my fingertips. We're just going to work that down into your hair here and the rest of your scalp. There we go. And we'll just get the nape of your neck. Here we go. Who doesn't love a good neck rub, am I right? <laughs> okay. Alright. Now that we got that all massaged into your hair, Let's go ahead and brush out those tangles. Okay. Now, I don't like to ask questions, but you did come in with quite a few tangles, so whatever you're doing in your free time is probably a lot of fun. <laughs> what we're going to do, just going to brush out all those tangles so we can get started on your cut. Now, a lot of people when they go to brush their hair like to start from the root and work down. But this actually isn't correct. You want to start from the ends and work up the hair shaft to the roots. This is because it's easier to remove tangles when you start at the base of your hair and work up. 
once you remove all the tangles, then you can brush from the root down. Wow, you are quite a naughty individual. <laughs> Puns for days. Alright. Let's just have you turn your head a bit here so we can get the other side. There we go. I know you said you're related to the troll dolls, but I'm beginning to wonder if your mother slept with the whole troll village. <laughs> Seems you have a color of everyone there. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Now that we got that all brushed down, we can go ahead and start on your cut. Which way do you part your hair? It's important that I cut your hair the way you part it so that way we get the layers and everything in the proper place. Okay, so down the middle. Good, good. I'm just going to get my comb out, and here are my shears. As you can see, I have a comb. I have my thing shears, my hair cutting shears, and a feather razor along with a bunch of hair. <laughs> We're going to start by getting your hair into some sections. So let me just comb it out. We're going to start by making two little honey buns at the top of your hair. If you only have one clip at home, or you could even use ponytail holders, that'll work just fine. I have clips, so I'm going to clip them up. So we're going to make a part where you part your hair. Alright. Well, aren't you cheeky hiding that pretty pink color in the back? <laughs> Business in the front, party in the back. Alright. Then what you're going to do, I'm going to have you turn your head this way. You're going to Uh, 
follow your hair around the side of your forehead here, towards the top, and go to the back where you part your hair. And it's okay if you get too much, it's not a big deal. It's just to make cutting your hair easier. When you have sections, you work on a little bit of hair at a time, so it helps you to not make any mistakes. Now that we got our section, we're just going to comb our hair out into a little ponytail. Alright, now, to make our honey bun, we're just going to take that hair, and we're going to twist it. Just keep twisting it, and as you twist it, it'll naturally rope itself up into a bun. So, there we go. And we're just going to clip it in place, like that. Okay. So next we'll do the other side here. I'm going to have you turn to your left for me. Excellent job. And we're just going to brush that hair out here and get it into another honeycomb. My, my, you have a lot of piercings. They're very pretty. We can take a closer look at those in a little bit. Let's get your hair all combed out. And get that little honey bun created. And it doesn't have to be perfect, as you can see. You just want to get enough hair to Make your little honey bun. Now, in the hairstylist world, we call this top part the horseshoe section. And you can see why in a second, because it's shaped like a horseshoe. So, yeah. There we go. We got our little duck bill clip. We're just going to clip that in place. There we go. Alright. Seems like one of your piercings came off, but don't worry. We'll set it over here for you for now. So. Go ahead and turn your head forward, and as you can see, it makes a horseshoe shape around the head. Now, we're going to take the next section here, and typically we make six sections, one, two, three, four, and five, and six. However, I've been doing this for a while, so I really only do four sections because really all of this is one section you let down at the same time. So, we're just going to make another like horseshoe shape. This time we're going to go from... Thank you for turning your head. We're going to go from like the middle of your ear around to the other side. 
middle of the ear. So, let's brush that out. And let's grab that hair. Do you mind turning your head again for me? Thank you. All right. Perfect, perfect. Okay. And let's twist that into our honeycomb. Perfect. And since this is a bigger section, I'm going to use this bigger clip to hold it in place. There we go. So now, you just have your pretty pastel pink hair at the bottom here. And as you can see, you just have this one section left of your pretty pastel pink hair with some fun little hot pink strands. So now we're going to go ahead and start cutting. I did notice that your ends are a bit fried. Seems like you've been using a lot of hot tools or not a lot of products to maintain it. I like my food fried, but not my hair. <laughs> so let's get you looking healthy again. So we're going to start by getting your hair a little damp. Now. We cut our hair wet because it helps make all the strands the same. So if your hair is wavy, it helps the wave to go away. So it's all one length and it keeps the hair together. And when you cut the hair dry, hair goes everywhere. When you cut it wet, it all falls in a clump to the so it's less messy as well. Now, one thing I will say, if you have very curly hair, you might want to cut your hair with the curls in and not straight, because if you straighten your hair and you always wear it curly, it might look a little different. So, You'd want to cut it in whichever way you style your hair. Let's go ahead and give your hair a quick little spray here. All right, here we go. And just give it a little comb. Now, I have my shears here. Let's go ahead and cut those ends. So, if you're doing this at home or to yourself or a friend, Make sure you have them look down, tilt your head down. However, today I'm just going to do it like 
this so you can see. Now, a lot of people like a blunt cut look where the ends are all the same. I personally do not like that look. So, what I'm going to do is start by cutting it into that look. And that's just a straight cut cross. And then when we're done with our haircut, I'm going to go back through and I'm going to point cut the ends. And that's just going to remove that blunt look. And you'll see that in a second. So, let's go ahead and cut those ends off, shall we? See that blunt cut edge there? I wonder if we can, there we go, see it better there. Let's move on to the next section. Okay. Let's cut those ends. up the next section. And as you see, we're working in small sections across the hair to make sure we don't miss anything and that everything is the same. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and down our second section. And we're just going to comb that out. Alright. Alright, let's spray that beautiful hair, shall we? We have our little friend spray bottle again. They're so pretty. Do they hurt? No? How long have you had that? A while. Did you just get them for fun or? It's part of mermaid culture. I see. They're very pretty. Here, here. So, grab 
my shears. And again, typically I would have you look down, but we're just going to comb this out and cut. And I'm going to have you look over your right shoulder. There we go. Your hair was very uneven up front. I'm glad we caught that so we could fix it. Alright. Go ahead and look over your left shoulder for me. A little bit of a tangle. There we go. Okay. Go ahead and look forward for me. And we're just going to do our last two sections here. So let's unclip our clip. And let's comb those out, shall we? So today we're going to do a round layer. I'm going to have you look for it for me. There we go. Wow, I didn't know you could turn your head all the way around. It's actually quite freaky. <laughs> okay. So to do a round layer, you're going to start by taking a guide section at the front of the head here. And this is what we're going to use to guide the hair all the way around the head. So you're going to take that small section and you're going to comb it straight up. Like that, so it's all one length. And you're going to cut as much off as you'd like for a layer. Less is more is the key. Always start with a little you can always go back around and do more. I'm going to point cut into it because if you remember, I told you I don't like blunt cuts. So, I'm just going to point cut into that. And I'm going to take off about an inch. Here we go. See, point cutting gives you a more natural effect. And we're going to drop that and brush out all that extra hair we just cut. Okay, now I'm going to have you turn back around. Like something straight out of a horror movie. Okay. Oh, nothing, nothing. So, you're going to 
take that guide section and you're going to take part of it and grab some other hair next to it. So now you're going to have some long hair, but you're going to see where you cut the hair before, see? And you're just going to line it up with the hair that you cut previously. And you'll drop it. And you always want to make sure that you're not going too far down. I typically kind of stick in the horseshoe part that we did at the beginning. If you go too far down, you're going to cut off too much hair and you're going to affect the whole haircut. And basically, we're just going to be doing this little section by little section all the way around the head till we get to the other side. So, let's grab our next little section here, comb it up, and cut the hair. Move on to the next section, comb it out. And cut the hair. And there we go. Now you have beautiful round layers. 
That's the only time you're going to like to hear that you have something round. <laughs> okay. Next, we're going to thin out some of that bulky hair. So what I like to do for this is I take the top half of the hair and I put it up into a clip. And we're going to thin out the middle section of the hair. These are thinning shears. And they have little teeth on them, as you can see. Now, these are used for removing bulk from the hair, if you have thick hair. So, you don't want to do the top of the hair because that will affect the layers in the haircut. And the same, I kind of do the same thing for the underneath of the hair and leave it alone. But I will do the middle of the hair. And you just start by taking a small section, taking your thinning shears, and on the underneath, just making a couple little cuts, and then you comb it out, and it removes a lot of hair. And we're just going to do that in a few places so your hair is less bulky, and so it lays more flat. that up and make a few little cuts. Excess hair. Right. We'll let down that section. And we'll do the other side. Okay. So, let's take a little bit of hair here. Comb it up. And remove that hair. Now it looks scary, but I assure you it's not as scary as your head doing a full 180. So, go like this. Do a couple cuts. And comb it out. As you can see, it doesn't remove like the underneath of your hair. And that's because of its teeth. It just makes a few little cuts to remove the bulk. If only it were that easy to remove all the bulk. <laughs> all right. There we go. Your beautiful new haircut. So now let's go ahead and cut some bangs in your hair. And I know a lot of you stuck in quarantine all of a sudden think bangs are all the rage now. <laughs> Though I will admit that they are very cute. So how I cut bangs is by doing a small triangle part at the front of the head. So let's go ahead and section your hair into a little triangle. Okay. And you don't want to take too much hair. The mistake some people make is coming all the way down here. 
when you can just do a simple, small triangle part in front. A lot of people also go really far back on the head as well. You don't need to do that. Just a small little triangle is enough. Make sure we got a good little triangle. Good, good, good. Okay. That should be enough. Now I'm going to clip the rest of your hair back here so we don't cut it. And we're just going to comb it down. And again, just like cutting your hair, it's important to cut your bangs the way that you're going to wear them. So if you're going to be wearing them curly, make sure they're curly. Okay. Now, another thing to remember, it's important to cut below your fingers. Do not cut above it. A lot of the mistakes that people make when cutting bangs is cutting above the finger, and then it bounces up. You also want to keep into account that when your hair is wet, it looks longer. So cut it on the longer side, because when you dry it, it's going to bounce up. Again, less is more. Always cut it long, because you can always go shorter. If you cut it short, you're just going to look silly until it grows out. So, here we go. Let's grab the shears here. And it seems you want a straight across bang this time. Not a problem. We can always do it differently next time you're here. going to cut below our bangs here, our fingers, by the hair. And don't worry, we will style them so they look a lot nicer in a sec. So. Let's get them to a good length here. And now that you're looking like something out of a boy band, let's style it real quick and we can finish it up. Okay, now that we're all blow dried straight, you can see that our cut is really good. I left these here to show you how we do the nice little face frame with it. So, you're going to take the hair here and we're just going to cut on an angle up to that part of our bang here. That way we get that nice face frame of the bang. Alright. And if you don't like bulky, you can also point cut into it like we did with the hair. So. Can take that and we can point cut into it to break it up a bit. Like that. 
There we go. Let's do the other side here. I think I'm going to add that hair into it. Okay. There we go. It's just chopped up. Okay. And grab our section. And cut on an angle. And there you have it. We have a beautiful new cut with a beautiful new face frame. I would love to get a chance to style your hair sometime. So if you enjoyed your experience, let me know. And next time maybe we can do a style on you and your beautiful rainbow hair. Thanks for coming to the ASMR Salon and Spa.